Before gluing the neck, I had some words to say. First, I uh, treated my top. Uh, well, it's about the same as I did on the inside. So I uh, got my positive stain and uh, brought out the years a little bit more. Uh, uh, yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> and uh, also I uh, brand all my violins or I, uh, all my instruments uh, with Peter Westland up there. You see. Uh, once I made a Gragnani uh, copy and uh, he branded his uh, instruments up there, so I thought that was a cool thing to do. So far I haven't forgotten it once. Uh, I also made my uh, fingerboard and upper nut, which made uh, the forming of uh, the upper part of the peg box more uh, well I can really make it finished um, I have rounded these uh, walls as often seen at uh, the JSON instruments um, on strads you have a flat surface and uh, there's a um, well just say face whatever uh, it's uh, uh, very pronounced to be flat not so uh, rounded on the inside either um, uh, it's uh, much easier to form the neck and everything when uh, you have the neck loose like this so I do as much as I can I still have to make some adjustments when it glued um, to make the fit to the body, well, uh, cutting out this is uh, not uh, no secret. It's what they teach on every school, I guess. Uh, to make it more clearly, wh where it uh, where you have a bump or something, I took this paper. It's uh, well, well, I have no idea what it's called in English, but uh, it's uh, uh, in the old days you put this in between two papers and uh, then you can make a line like that and you get, um, well, it, uh, oh shit, if I could do it in Swedish. Uh, well, uh, then uh, you, you get a line wherever it's pressed down. So I uh, made uh, like the fit like this, and then I can see where it uh, is uh, high on this surface. Then a lot of people think that um, depending on how long you put it inside the body, is uh, very crucial for how it's uh, going to sit. But this wall is, uh, well, it could be unglued actually, because uh, that's just something to lean on. The important surface is this one. And of course this one, that this is what holds the neck totally. Um, so, uh, it's very important that this area is totally flat and this really is uh, in all points glued to this area. Also you have to uh, pre-glue this area, which I did when I made uh, uh, the pre-glue for putting the ribs on. Uh, what's more to say? Um, Oh well, I think uh, it's ready for gluing now. If you like, you can put some color on here. Uh, when you see the old violins, they are hardly uh, varnished at all in this area. 
because uh, obviously the neck was put on first and uh, then you didn't have access to that area. And you can of course put a, a brush inside here and uh, made some, make some color, but uh, of course it's easier doing it here. Um, boom. Well, uh, also since uh, I uh, I make all my uh, like bass bar, sound post, f holes, uh, everything uh, in uh, uh, relationship to the middle joint. I also make my uh, well. Uh, if I want, uh, want to check the aim of the neck, I have two marks here for putting a bridge on and checking that it really hits the bridge exactly. Uh, I like to have the elevation of the fingerboard at 28, and that's correct. Um, it will go down uh, like when you put strings on the instrument and um, uh, it's uh, quite a hard uh, pull from the uh, strings then uh, this is fairly weak wood although the box uh, construction uh, makes it uh, much more sturdy and uh, then uh, uh, that pool will want to uh, sort of just fold it together and uh, it holds ag against it but to a certain extent it will uh, give after and uh, that uh, little dip down to like 26 27 of elevation uh, is counted for when you put it on 28 uh, unless you sell it to um, like Taiwan or some very humid country, which I've done once, <laughs> uh, the violin went down even more. So uh, I got it back, and uh, in Sweden it rose, and everything was perfect. So uh, there are things to take in consideration. Um, Okay, I'll leave you for now and come back later.